From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. All right, I'm Mark J. Weather on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. It's going to be a dry but chilly overnight tonight. Jacket weather, 7 a.m. Here are your temps. Even some spots in the upper 30s. What happened? All right, Mother Nature not smiling on us tomorrow. Well, at least we get a little sunshine and we'll stay dry. You can get out and mow that lawn. 56 degrees for Cleveland. I think Akron and Canton a little bit warmer in the lower 60s. So we'll go mid 50s. Sunshine, 62 tomorrow for the Akron Canton area. Some sunshine and cool. And Sunday, Mom's Day, rain in the morning, 57. Danita. Thank you, Mark. Now here's a look at today's top stories. A six-year-old girl is in critical condition tonight after firefighters pulled her from a raging fire. Firefighters say a mother, father, and four children were in the house in Akron's Goodyear Heights neighborhood last night when it went up in flames. Everyone made it out on their own except for that little girl. Her father burned his arm trying to get to her, but he just couldn't. Thankfully, firefighters were able to rescue her. We're told she is suffering from smoke inhalation. Federal scientists are predicting a moderate Moderately severe algae bloom on Lake Erie this summer, about the same as the ones we saw in 2017 and in 2014 when the toxic bloom was so bad, a half million people near Toledo were left without drinkable water. They say a lot of it depends on how much phosphorus flows in from the Maumee River, which feeds the algae. And after sitting vacant for years, life may finally return to the former site of Geauga Lake and SeaWorld. The Pulte Group has plans to develop the land on the Aurora side of the park, which sat both there and in Bainbridge, which would include homes, condos, commercial development, and parkland. Last year, plans to build a Meyer store on the property fell through. Planning Commissioner will consider the plans next week. For the latest news and weather, go to News5Cleveland.com or open the News5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.